Hey guys, it's Will here. I wanted to show you how you can clone a GitHub repository to your desktop, to your, to your machine, using the command line. So there's ways you can fork this and have it on your own account, but I didn't want to do that. I didn't want to use the web or the GUI. I wanted to try to do it just in the terminal. And um, GitHub's a way to, you know, a place where you can store code and projects you've been working on and potential employers can see stuff you've been working on. Other people can share, expand upon what you're doing. It's a community. And um, so a lot of us have in the past have used, you know, code versioning systems like at employers where it's local, you know, so this is just online. It's been around for a while, but I thought I would just show you. And um, so I'm, I've got a Mac here and on my terminal, I'm just going to open up a terminal here and you should have um, the git. So it'll show you the commands. If you don't have that, you're going to have to install uh, that, uh, that program. So you'll notice here it says clone repository. So if you're in a directory that you want, uh, this is the way I do it. I just do it from the directory I want to be in. It's going to create this directory based on this gender classification challenge. So this is deep learning. I'm, I've been learning just getting into this a little bit. And uh, I thought I would start from right from the, you know, from the command line to get the the code to my local machine. So what you do is you're on this page. If you're on GitHub and you find a project that you're interested in, you can see there's a, um, a Python program. If you don't know Python, it's worth learning a bit about it. It's pretty simple. But um, so you go back and uh, you want to be, you want to check out this clone or download. And what will happen is like, I don't want to download the zip and all that. I want to get away from that. So you want to do it easier way to command line. So you can copy this URL. So the URL is to this git file here. It's just, it's just the path with his username and then the path, the, uh, pro, the, you know, the project. So anyways, copy this to the clipboard. And then all you have to do here is go git and then clone, like you saw, is one of the attributes here. And then you're just going to put a space and then paste control V type thing. And that's the URL to the git. So then it's going to grab those files. So that was pretty quick. There's only two files here. So if we look at my present, I'm just in this directory and you're going to see, I've got other, uh, you know, I've got a bunch of stuff in that directory, but the gender for classification challenge is there. So we're just going to CD into that folder and you'll see the readme file and the demo. So that is the, that's all there is to it. So that was a way to get the code in. And then after in another video or just in general, you're going to have to, uh, you know, push that to the, to your own account on GitHub when you want to, if you want to do that and share it. So you can edit the code, play around with it, run it. And then when you're ready to go, you're going to want to um, publish that back to your own account. And um, then you can also, as you change the code, you can, um, you can basically keep updating GitHub with your code on your own account. So just thought I'd let you show you guys what I do, what I'm doing here. And so I'm going to be learning a lot about hopefully data science and uh, machine learning, deep learning and all that stuff. It's cool things that I hope to be sharing with you guys in the future. So take care, guys. See ya.